The attorneys for a woman killed along a popular hiking trail doubled the reward now trying to find her killer. Rachel Morin's body was found on the Monpah Trail in Bel Air in early August. Now the reward leading to an arrest in her murder is up to $20,000. WMER 2 News' Ashley McDowell sat down with someone close to Rachel who remembers her life. It's been almost two months since Rachel Morin's body was found just off the Mom Paw Trail in Bel Air, and now her friend is speaking out. I will do whatever I can to keep her memory alive and, and to be there for her children because she's irreplaceable. She was one in a million. Claudia Brown was Rachel's best friend. The pair met seven years ago through Rachel's mother, becoming each other's rock. Was just so welcoming and just so kind and she was there for me at really the most difficult part of my life. She even considered Rachel part of her family. I called her my soul sister because I felt that the bond that we shared was something that transcended this world. It was so special and deep and natural and authentic. At times, they would sneak away for girl talk. One of my favorite memories is just going to her house and I would bring my kids and my kids and her kids would all get together in the living room and then Rachel and I would go and sit in her car <laughs> right outside the front door. So we were literally right next to the house, but it was the only time that we could kind of get away as mamas and kind of have that girl talk together. And at other times, they talked about goals. She says Rachel shared her ambitions. Back in January, she reached out to me with a plan to go back to school in the fall. One of her majors would be English because she always wanted to write a few books. Brown says her life was a beautiful story. And although Rachel won't be writing the final chapter, it deserves closure. Someone knows who did this. And I, I would ask that person or those people to dig really deep and put themselves in the position of Rachel's children. In Bel Air, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.